The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Yeah, let's go get them. One time, some smooth criminal shit. Start a ride. What? Cause we gon' start a ride in this motherfucker. Yeah, we gon' start a ride. Tell the niggas that I'm ready for war. Tell me, is you right? Tell me, is you right? Tell me, is you right? Uh, cause we gon' start a ride in this motherfucker. I dare you try anything. I'm talking rides like it's 92. Me and Smooth set the world on fire, nigga. We let you get by with everything. But now I'm talking rides in this motherfucker. I dare you try anything. Like it's 92, me and Smoke set the world on fire, nigga. We let you get by with well, everything. But now I'm welcome to the front line, nigga. Lace your chucks up. My gun is drawn and knuckles up. So what the fuck's up? I'm ready for war, dressed in all black, everything. Big burners and murder ones, no fingerprints, can't be too safe. It's when you shine, that's when they throw the shade. So why I'd rather kill them all if I ever feel I've been betrayed? Gotta keep it honey, hoes always trying to change a nigga. I look around me and all I see is my same niggas. So you better beware, cause they'll peel your cap And I ain't talking about no sticker on your fitted hat Paranoia make you keep it on you Because some shit that you done did in the past You feel it creeping on you And I don't listen to none of these new rappers I know niggas hearing this, they like, damn, that's smooth rapping And I ain't worried about if you been feeling me Tell your favorite artists, I got balls that kill Lyrical artillery I'd rather spend records than to spend time DA said if I get caught again, I'm doing pen time In other words, she got me walking on the thin line Cause where I'm from, I was taught to hold it and defend mines You go to war, better be sure you win that battle Go all out with a bang and fuck what happens And deal with all the drama and pain and consequence after The only man that can judge me don't hold no fucking gavel, nigga start a ride in this motherfucker I dare you try anything I'm talking rides like it's 92. Me and Smoke set the world on fire, nigga. We let you get by with everything. But now I'm talking rides in this motherfucker. I dare you try anything. I'm talking rides like it's 92. Me and Smoke set the world on fire, nigga. We let you get by with everything. But now I'm talking rides. Well, I've been sinning on the daily. I just hope the Lord forgive me. Protect me from everybody. Anyone can be my enemy. I don't know what's got into me. This Remy or this Hennessy. Mix them both together. That's just fire to my head. If you ain't with it, say a prayer, don't get involved. Ain't no cheering at these rallies, we breaking all of their laws, all of their jaws, flipping over all of their cars. What's up, everybody? You want to see in the building? Shouts out to RMC on there for having us. Plans and palm trees as well. What's good? What's good? This White Jade right here. Uh, Thanks for listening to the Hip Hop Squad. You know what? Since it's Valentine's Day, I'm not even going to mention anything about that right now, but, um,. I'm gonna let Dane introduce the guest. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, it's excited to have this guest on today. You know, my man's in them, Mr. Cushy Carlito, Mr. FBB in the building. Go ahead and say what's up to everybody. Yo, 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 what it do? It's your boy Cush Wide to the seat, Mr. FBB. What's good? Man, it's, it's a pleasure having you on the show, man. Yes, sir. How you doing, bro? Chilling, man, you know. Off this good medicine, just chilling. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Diesel himself, he. He told me everything about you. He told the, the hip hop squad about you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? We've yeah, been we've been listening to your there. tracks, man. Like, okay. uh, so yeah, um, Dane. So what we doing today, man? I mean, before we get into the 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 meat and potatoes of today's show, which is going to be <laughs> taking, you know, having a few words with our man Cushy Carlito, we go we go, we go first get, kick it off by talking about some news and events that have happened recently. Obviously, it was Grammy weekend this oh, yeah. past Sunday. A big event in the music industry. We had an opportunity to see a lot of some of our our favorite artists perform. Some cats won some good awards, all that good stuff. So um, it was it was a a very interesting experience as usual. Your boy Ye almost did another Kanye. <laughs> oh, MJ. But uh, you know it is what it is. You know it was it was just a, a good thing just to see everybody out there and enjoying themselves. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to my boy Kendrick Lamar though. Oh man, tell me about it. And, and and what's interesting, you know, he definitely got an award for I, which is a uh, big big ups to him for that. You know, that that track was definitely uh, a banger coming into or ending like for the most part last year coming into this year. But uh, what I found interesting 
in, in light of uh, you know Kendrick Lamar winning that that uh, that Grammy, there there are some hip hop classics, gentlemen, that have not even touched uh, the the Grammys, and I was uh, kind of interested in seeing that you know classics like Chronic 2001, Jay Z's The Blueprint, yeah, Nas, Illmatic. Mm. Those records never won those Grammys. Went, those went platinum, and they never even got to to the Grammys at all. That's that you know. I, but I see, find that interesting because I think Grammys doesn't really like support hip hop as much. And that's pretty much the 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 untold uh, or or, or yeah, unspoken it, truth, I guess exactly, you can call it. Like, uh, man, that's not cool, son. Like yeah, but but why? I mean, for those of us who don't know why, I mean, why? Why do you think? Because we always talk about women and cars, this and that, <laughs> the juries, the stuff like that, man. I mean, so Chronic's talking about about that, Chronic's though. Chronic's talking about life. Yeah. I mean, I personally, you know, I, I, I personally believe that it's just more so, at the end of the day, the Grammys wasn't created for, for hip-hop. It wasn't created right. for rap at the end of the day. So, and to have, a, yeah. well, you know, rap being what it is now, you know, we look at every commercial, you know, from from major corporations, Toyota, even health health healthcare companies, insurance companies, you yeah. know they all have hip hop. They're all hip hop influenced. But now, you know, what I'm saying uh, back in the days when the Grammys first was not first created, but you know when hip hop came onto the scene, unfortunately, you know that they weren't favoring it. I should say, hip hop wasn't something that they was really trying to push at that time you know that's when gangster rap came in and it was a lot of conscious things that they was talking about so you know, it really wasn't something that they wanted to, to put on the stage like that what you think about that kush i mean i saw a little article it said that uh basically the artist who's the most popish kind of wins the like the, the hip-hop artist that's the most popish kind of wins the award or you know that's just kind of what they lean towards but that comes back to what you said it's not really for us so I mean, if them albums then winning, then what? What really is a Grammy? I think you got to be more pleased with the nomination more than the award, cause yeah. You know what I, mean? I mean, I don't even know what 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 entails that. I mean, who makes a decision for who gets a Grammy? That's the real question, right? That is well, the real question. Yeah. Award that they got, I guess. You know, cause cause if they're asking us, I'm sure Nas would be up there real quick. <laughs> real quick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All three of those. Like, yeah. Speaking of Nas. He, um, last year, it was a 20-year anniversary of Illmatic, and they did a documentary of Time yeah, is Illmatic. Yeah. We were talking about that, and we were in our first meetings with me and Rashard. And, well, the hip-hop squad, I should say. The hip, the whole team, the hip-hop squad. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was a pretty dope documentary, and if you haven't yeah. had an opportunity to check it out, you know, I actually bless bought yourself. it, too. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and bless yourself with that one, because it was yeah, definitely Yeah, it's only like $9? Yeah, just go ahead and buy it off of YouTube. I mean, iTunes. You know what I mean? So, um, what we got here? In light of our, our, our Kendrick Lamar's Grammy win, I, I believe you brought something about that LP. He dropped something for us, didn't he? Speaking of Kendrick Lamar, congratulations, kid. Big homie, man. I know they're um, actually. I know they're um, they're net on um, cousins. They work at Roscoe's. That's a uh, one is a. Uh, trying to think one was the the cook and one is a, a bus boy and shout out to Kendra Lamar for winning two Grammys two of them I didn't know which one it was I know one was the best rap performance I didn't know it was the second one I believe he got best rap performance and I believe best uh, rap song not rap album but I believe it was a rap song for I I love yeah. I personally yeah. when I when I dropped I was like wow I mean it was just yeah completely like a new sound i mean it was just amazing what he did with those live basses too i mean I, I was just stunned when i heard that song i was like who is this it was kendrick i was like what <laughs> i mean wow sampling ronald isley man that was that was cool man but he dropped another banger for us recently in light of his his Ooh. victories at the grammy i'm pretty sure everybody out there has heard it by now if you haven't you, you need we to need go to listen it. to that yeah you need to go it's, hear on, that. it's on youtube it's it's everywhere back of the berry Blacker the Berry, that is. And that's a very interesting track right there because he's he's touching, you know, both sides of the race card in a sense. You know, the first few verses, it seems to me like, you know, he's really getting at some of the, that quote unquote higher powers. And then that, that, but he ends it, you know, more so bringing it back to, you know, us, you know, African Americans talking about us. Like, you know, if I'm gonna be the biggest hypocrite, like what, what are you? Yeah. 
Yeah, that Thank makes you. sense. So, Absolutely. shout out to Kendrick Lamar again for releasing that song and winning two Grammys. Because I know last year he got robbed by Macklemore last year. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we were just talking about <laughs> that. Yeah, that was not cool. Like, yeah, not cool, man. Yeah, we was just talking about that one outside before we uh, we came in. Yeah, yeah. but like your boy Macklemore held it down last year. I mean, yeah. but I like as pop culture goes. I mean, I think the man right here said it the best. I mean, he just said, you know, those tracks that Macklemore had, were, they were just hot. I mean, they yeah, really were in all wide, around the world. Yeah, worldwide. You know? Yeah, man, like, he made an impact on the game quick with that. Yeah, man, I was in Europe and they were bumping in thrift shop like there's no tomorrow. It was just thrift shop on repeat. Nice. Yeah. Crazy. And I mean, no, that's what I'm saying. I think we got to kind of look out the box, too. Like, we kind of look at it like, just as uh, where we at and look at it like, oh, he's not this and that, but... You, know I mean? you gotta travel and get out there like worldwide he's making an impact so can't be so judgmental on just you know right and that's his job though his job is to entertain and his job is to inspire like every other rap artist or hip-hop artist out there and if he's doing a good job of that you know i can see if he's touching lives if he's impacting lives and obviously you know he's holding it down he, he deserves the record and to kind of piggyback off what we talked about before and for what I read about it, because I was interested, you know, how do they choose who wins these Grammys? Yeah. Um, and it's basically um, a, a consensus of what was popping, really. You know, what I'm saying? it's, it's a, the Grammy is an award for outstanding achievement in, in the music industry, and they obviously base that on the numbers. So as long as you got a record that was popping, and you got those spins for the most part, and, and you know your name was buzzing, then more than likely you about to get that good Grammy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but you gotta um, look at it too. It's, it, it's gonna be more than two Grammy award worthy songs in a year you know? so somebody gonna get robbed all the time <laughs> that's true it's like the all star game right yeah, it's always gonna be some <laughs> yeah. robbery yeah you feel me it's gonna be more than three shooting guards that deserve it bro. you know what I mean two gonna make it so yeah, yeah but I'm happy for my boy Lillard for getting on there cause I mean oh, he's been yeah, playing like yeah, yeah yeah I mean even though it wasn't necessarily a, a first ballot selection you know it's, it is a good thing now that he does cause that boy do be putting the buckets up man yeah I mean if, if he was in the east it would be no contest I mean <laughs> we, don't, we don't even talk about that because we got the Charlotte Hornets I think and somebody else about to be in the playoffs if the playoffs start today they would be in but teams like Thunder and yeah, I ain't a New, fan, New, New Orleans Heat? wouldn't wouldn't Heat? be in there yeah they'd be like three teams from the east and everyone else would be from the west I mean <laughs> straight up the Suns would be in there I mean even Sacramento probably would be a playoff team yeah, exactly. And they're talking about, you know, restructuring the league. So, I mean, well, not the league, but they're restructuring yeah. the, the playoff system. So, hopefully, you know, they, they, they make it. Personally, I believe they should, in a sense, go to some likings to, like, a Sweet 16 or, you know, just the top 16 teams get in, period. You know, regardless of conferences. Yeah, true. Allow, allow the top 16 teams to get in so that the best players can be playing. Because it's, it's seem, it wouldn't seem like the, the playoffs would be right in this day and age if a Kevin Durant, a Russell Westbrook, right. Anthony Davis yeah. isn't yeah. in prime time on the court. It's true. But yeah. you got teams like the Hornets, you know, <laughs> no no shade to my man MJ over there, but, it's, you know, y'all, y'all got a losing record. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I really personally don't know who's on their squad. That's a, that's that's a, a quote unquote name brand. Nobody that's carrying the league per se, like a Anthony Davis or a Kevin Durant. So you know, we shall see. Yeah. Speaking of um, Grammys, I want to talk about that stuff. Um, did y'all hear what Kanye West said? You know, I, di I didn't hear necessarily what he said, but I definitely <laughs> saw what he did. He's pretty outspoken. I mean, he says a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> but tell us, I want to know. Yeah, tell us. Well, from from like five second, um, it was a five second video about it, about like not having Beyonce, not having Beyonce winning as best oh, yeah. song album or something like that. I, I don't really watch the Grammys. I don't even watch these album of the year. You know I think what I'm the album fact. of the year. Yeah, yeah. it was album of the year, and he says something disrespectful, saying. Man, you got y'all need to give up these real artists. You know, they're doing all this work, doing all this, this and that. And I'm like, really? Because he did that same shit on uh, VMAs yeah, on Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce got the best song of all time. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why would you even say that on air? Like, and yeah. they didn't even apologize. He said he was never wrong. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but, but you should have seen Jay-Z's face, though. They have a clip of yeah, him yeah, when Kanye yeah, is going on stage. Yeah, and he's, right, right? Yeah, total <laughs> shock and awe. 
I will say this yeah. though. Uh, shouts out to Beck because before that incident, I had no clue who that guy was. Man, <laughs> nobody did. And then and it forced me to go find out who he was. So to know that the man has been in the game since 1985, oh, yeah. you know, when I was born, you know, my birth year, it, it was kind of like interesting to see. You know, he he's going through his journey. So uh, if, if you know if he's winning that that Grammy in a sense, you know he's he's put his time in, he's put his work That's in. That's what makes Kanye's statement kind of contradictory. Like you know what I mean, he's, he's, if you want to respect real artistry, he's a real artist. I mean he deserved that just as much as everybody else. Yeah, it's his time to win it. I mean Beyonce didn't win. Like come on, like, chill out. Bro. I think she walked away with two or three uh, That's the what other I'm night. Like chill out. Like even, <laughs> even they was like, bro, chill. Like yeah, like, we good. That's what I was saying. Here. Kanye ain't got to chill. But man. I also heard that Kanye West and Kim Kardashian are banned from future Grammy Awards. What? That's what I, I read. I didn't hear that one. I that's what surprised. I read. So I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I read. But that's we the shall rumor. See. So we'll we'll see about that, you know what I mean? We'll see we'll see the we'll see we'll talk about the Grammys next year, you know what I'm saying, on the hip hop show. We'll do. Yeah. So, I mean, with that being said, let's have your boy Cushy Carlito introduce this next record that we about to drop you know, on my lap, brother. Yes, sir. This is my latest single off my next tape coming out next week, next Friday, February 20th, FBB Volume 2. The track is called On My Lap. Yeah, yeah. On My Lap? Yeah. Couple M's, what you know about that? Where my real niggas at? From the block to the track, when you ride, ride with it on your lap. She said she wanna have my baby. Bitch must be crazy. Nah, fuck you, pay me. That's what I've been on lately. Get into it on the daily. Need not only for my safety, in case these niggas try and play me. Run up on me if you won't. Got what you need. Ain't about all that, but got it for you if you need. Never lonely in these streets, just mean to ride with me. Sliding out your pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back on the hip hop show. This is the one and only LeBron Pierce, aka one fourth of the one fifth of the hip hop squad. But not all our members are here, but we got three members up here, including myself and then Dane Diesel in the building. And then we have YJ over here. You know what I'm saying? So we just had that Cushy Carlito on my lap. Yeah, that was dope, man. for y'all. 
Good looking, good looking. Yeah, that was dope, man. That was a hot track right there. Can you tell us more about that song? Like, how did you came about with that song? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a caller. Let's, let's take this caller real quick. Caller, you're on the air, you're on the air with the Hip Hop Show with the Hip Hop Squad and with um, Cushy Carlito. What's your name? Where you calling from? Carmen from Los Angeles. Hey, what's happening? Hello, how are you? Can't complain. Thanks for calling Carmen. in. Carmen. Oh, why, thank you. So I got a question for you guys because you guys do the Hip Hop Show. Yeah. Do you uh, guys, yeah. Um, have a Valentine's this, this weekend? Um, we're going to talk about the... Wait a minute. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Your voice sounds familiar. Where do I know you from? Where do we know you, you from, Carmen? Uh, I don't think you know me. Really? Yeah. Really? You sound like we should. You need to know you, right? Really? I mean, I'm just seeing if you guys have a Valentine. Uh, I mean, it seems seems like I don't someone. Know one. Well, they want to play. I ain't got one. Okay, um. Uh, she don't got one. <laughs> I game. ain't got none either. Well, Go I kind of do. One. <laughs> I mean, you got choices from what I'm hearing. Oh, yeah. I have a choice. Maybe. How long are you going to be there? Ain't nobody stepped up but me, so I'm here till about 10, 30, 11, you know what I'm saying? Or whenever this show is over, you got to host that question. No, but you, you then know. I'll meet you at the bistro. Oh. oh the f Wait a second. <laughs> I know you. I know right, who I'm, you are. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to say your name on air. Not right there. Right I'm, I'm I know who you are. Yeah. Leron, <laughs> Leron, do you have a choice for Valentine's? Um, what do you mean? Sounds like she's directing it. Yeah, like she got a girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it sounds like Mr. Mr. LP, you know what I'm saying? You got something on the line right here. You got a little nip. Got something on the line. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have one in mind. Do you? Yeah. Does her name maybe start with a C or K and end with men? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, that's strange. What you think about the track, though? What? That On My Lap, Carmen? You tuning in? Oh, yeah, I loved it. I thought it was hot. Appreciate that's what's up that. right there. You got any questions for Cushy? <laughs> what's that? So you got any questions for Cushy? No, I just kind of wanted to see if you guys had a Valentine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. I kind of do, but I don't know her name, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling in. <laughs> thank you, you guys. It's all love. All right. Thank you, Carmen. Bye. Appreciate it, Carmen. You have a good night. Yeah, Carmen. Seriously? This is for Valentine's. I actually know her. That's what's And that her name is not Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we I appreciate air, the call. I have to air that out real quick. Nah, I'm just kidding, but yeah. I actually know her. I actually know her. Me and YJ know. Oh, tell it. I don't think you actually know her, YJ. I, I know of her. I know of her. Know of her. I know of her, and it's all good. It's all good stuff, actually. If you know. But nevertheless, uh, yeah. getting back to that on my lap, you know, we got my yeah, man Chris yeah, yeah, Carlito yeah, yeah. in the building. Talk about that, bro. On my lap. We need to talk about Hot that, bro. Hot new single. How did you? How did February you? February twentieth, FBB Volume Two, leading the way. Dang. <laughs> I'm asking the <my> question. <laughs> Well, how did you come up with that song? What did you? I mean, you know, I, I kind of just caught the beat and I wanted to just kind of like chop it up a little bit, and it's just you know what I mean. That's just what I'm about. I mean, I had the mirror. I went to the max. Went back to the mirror. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, everything I really rap about is just real life. I don't try to put too much gas in it. So I mean, that hook is just it's just what it is. Yeah, so that's like dope, it. man. Good like looking. Good looking. That's the latest single. We got a we got a real nice visual coming up real soon too. Stay tuned for that. Working on something real nice. Yeah, that's how I was just about to ask. Like um, I'm working. I, on, we are working on something real nice. We ain't gonna put it out the bag yet. But but your boy out here working, man. 2015 takeover, man. We here. Hello. Yes, sir. So tell us. Um, you got the new project coming up February 20th. At BB, At BB Volume, volume two. two. Um, you came out with Volume One. So, uh, uh, how do you feel about this this new uh, addition to the collection? I man, I'm feeling real good about this one, man. You know what I mean? I got a chance to, to, to really, you know what I mean, get more creative, get more loose, more comfortable, and really just, just, just go ham, man. I went, what, 20 tracks on this one, from, from 12 on volume one. So, we definitely stepped it up. You know what I mean? The growth is definitely there. And like I said, just give me an honest listen, man. You're going to fuck with me. <laughs> there it is. So, have you have, do you have a favorite on the on the 
on the mixtape yet? Or? I mean, I listen to it about twice a day, and my favorites change daily, man. I might be going to play with you, but if I I got a top three. <laughs> I ain't got a favorite, though. That's cool. So, I did want to ask you, um, FBB Volume 2, can you get a little... I mean, can you explain to you know to to the audience, to the world, what the, the meaning behind that, what inspired that that whole movement? I mean, if you didn't know FBB, that's fuck being broke. I'm pretty sure we could all relate to that. I like that title. I mean, that's where it that's came dope. from. You know, what I mean, the whole the whole name started with a song I did, Volume One, and we kind of just stuck with it from there. And I mean, it's just been the movement since then. Everybody rocking with that. And like I said, it speaks for itself, fuck being broke. You know what I mean? Like I said, I do this for the, the, the hood ambitionists, I like to say, you know what I mean? And that's, it, it, I ask everybody in the hood, you feel me? Whether you you, you dealing, you, you stealing, you, you you stripping if you a female, if you got your nine to five, if you in school, like whatever you doing, if you in the hood and you got some ambition, homie, I got something to get you through it. Hmm, that's interesting. So you say the hood ambition is um the ambition is when y'all start hearing that in the streets, know that came from your boy KC first, boy. <laughs> hood ambition is man, Mr. FBB. So like you say, whether regardless if they in the streets or the suites, they can listen to Cushy Carlito and be able to to relate and have something to to, to knock their neck to and, and I mean mo to. motivation and inspiration, man. Uh, I mean that's all I talk about. You know what I mean I ain't gonna be on no song bragging about having millions of dollars and all these cars and whips, but I'm gonna be talking about the struggle and trying to get what I want, and that's this money. You feel me? Fuck being broke. That'd be big. That's interesting, right there. Yeah. So I know. How long have you been at it so far? How long have you been uh, with FBB Volume One being your first? addition to the collection? I mean, that's my actual first official tape. Uh, I've been writing since, well, I want to say, fifth grade oh, back okay. then, you know what I mean? So I've, I've been doing it for a long time, but officially about a little bit of almost two years in. So I got a question. What are, what's one thing that, you know, you think is the best misconception about Cushy Carlito? Right. I mean, I think uh, when you hear the name, you probably think all I'm going to talk about is weed. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing. Like, get, they get the Wiz Khalifa kind of thing, and I do smoke major amounts, but uh, that's not what the content and the music is necessarily about. That's just a nickname that was given and I like. <laughs> so that's what they call me, so that's just what I roll with. But I think that's the biggest misconception, you feel me? When I say, uh, yeah, I'm Cushy C, you know what I mean? Be like, oh, got that, got that good 420 music in, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> That That's is more, funny, more bro. More of some street shit. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you come up with that name, Cushy Carlito? Because it just seems to just roll out, of, roll off the tongue, roll just real tongue. eloquently, <laughs> like yeah. it's, a, it's a movie or something. It's I mean, true. I can't even, I can't even uh, say I came up with that. It was two names given to me separately, and I kind of put them together once I got in this game. So shout out to India and shout out to uh, my boy Monty Mu for that. And I just put them together, and uh, like you said, just shit just hit. You know what I mean, it just works for me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just flows so eloquently. It just it rolls does. off, it does. Rolls off your lips. Like Nick, nicknames are the best when they're given, you know what I'm saying? So I roll with it like that. That is true. That is true. <laughs> that is so true. Mine was just given to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And my stage name where it came from um, Tyrese when he played Roman Pierce. <laughs> so, I want to thank Tyrese for um, giving me that name. Well, LaRon Pierce is my name. Well, LaRon is my name, but Pierce is just a sick last name that I just took from a character from Tyrese when he did Too Fast and Furious, Roman Pierce. That's the is. main character. And he's actually going to be on, actually that character is going to be on theaters in April 15th this year. You nice. know what I'm saying? Mm. Too Fast, Too Furious, 7. Man. Well, Fast and Furious 7, I'm sorry. Yeah. All those Fast and the Furious joints were just hot. Sick as fuck. I got another one about to come out too, huh? Yeah, I think so. Last one, maybe? Shout out to Rest in Peace, Paul Walker. Yeah, yeah man, we're gonna miss that him. That was devastating, That's man. crazy, though. Like, yeah. the, 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 I know Tyrese and Ludacris took it hard. Like, they yeah. were crying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everybody was crying. I was like, Damn. Yeah, well, he was dope. I mean, he really was. Yeah. They no. could have replaced him with his brother, but... It wouldn't, have been, it wouldn't have been the same. Yeah. It wouldn't be the same. So. That's yeah. why I would have. Yeah, Especially trying to recreate like Avatar or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, bro. But yeah, so, dang. What else we got today, man? I mean, right now, we about to take it into a little break so we can Ooh, uh, play some more tracks for y'all. Then we go hop back y into a, to part two of our interview with our man, Cushy Carlito. So right now, we got uh, LP coming on, the ones and twos. Whoa, LP on ones and twos. What LeBron are you Pierce. About? Oh, yeah, he's right. 
true. And it's the LP's classic. This is one of my favorite songs. I love the hook by my boy 16 Bars, formerly known as M16. He was featured on the track with my other home with his with my other homeboy MCS. Well, he's formerly known as MCS. His name is Shifty now. He had too many nicknames as, as a rap name. So first he was MCS, then he's Relentless. Now he's Shifty. So. Shout out to my boy Scam for producing the track and was featured on his. Actually, that's Scam's track. I was just featured on the song. Me, Bars, and Shifty. You know what I'm saying? This song is called Fuck Trends. Yeah, and fuck I'm, trends. Yeah, fuck trends. We don't wear no skinny jeans. We don't do none of that shit up here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck trends. Go ahead and spin that YJ. I came up around many men, had plenty friends, couldn't really live like them, feel like them, niggas wasn't different, they was blending in, niggas didn't, said I wouldn't make it 50 different ways, then I blew in 50 days, now niggas getting 50 paid, me in London made roulette and split it 50, 50, ain't have 50 pennies with me, had to text them come and get me, back when car trouble was our trouble, only had one, had to cut a couple pieces off, they pulled the fast one, love you, yeah, Yo, I'm tired of the trends, man. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Fuck skinny jeans. Fuck that. Fuck clip-ons. Fuck that too. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck planking. Yeah. Fuck all that, man. SHS, fuck the trends. Scam. M16, Scam. to the round pit. First store, fuck trends. Yeah. Never buying in, never playing those games. Yeah. You never gonna win. Yeah. With my pen, I annihilate all. Yeah. Whack MCs for fun, we'll fall. Yeah. Stand tall through the bullshit fast. Never gonna change. Yeah. Too bad. Got a frantic like a bull run. Yeah. I'm the true son. Yeah. Talk shit, but what the hell have you done? Yeah. Fuck trends, I ain't buying it, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna fuck. Follow, I'd rather be scared, never giving in, never settle for less I stay mic'd up like my name Francesca But now I'm listening to the radio, DJs nowadays turn in the silly hoes Only a few remain, rule number one, never get trapped in the game I will stay independent, I won't give in under pressure I'm doing me and I won't bend to your trend, I will stay independent. I won't give in under pressure. I'm doing me and I won't bend. I won't give in to your trend. I'll be me, tell the motherfucking death of me. Tell they put that RIP, M16, rest in peace. Blow up on these tracks with that fucking originality. Think you got it better than me? Boy, you need to check reality. I'ma stay the same forever till the flesh fall off my bones. No, the rain no stopping me until these demons take my soul. Never gonna be giving up, cause no, I'm not a quitter. Follow nobody's streets, so I'm the lead, focus spitter. Don't follow me, the leader. I don't want no dick riders. Y'all copycats is fake as original, always piss tighter. Too many people trying to be like Drake a little Wayne What up Sean Pussy fake blood spitting lame Fake spitting lames in the game Whack rappers trying to act like they hard But I crumpled them like crackers Talking down about me boy You must not know how I live Originality at its best I bet they never forget I will stay independent I won't give in under pressure I'm doing me and I won't bend I won't give in to your trend I will stay independent I won't give in under pressure I'm doing me and I won't bend Y'all niggas got me sound like prodigy while killing these trends While my team cut the gun back and make a full extend Let these games begin, scan, pass me the gun, do not click Look out for securities, we all want Let's run up on the trends like the FBI Catch you wearing skinny jeans, player, you gon' die I don't care if you rich, don't you ever be a trend To be honest, these trends don't ever make sense Be on Twitter, the trend, they expose their life To these Illuminati puppets who we don't like All they do is tell lies and make them look like slaves All the four of us are standing up being your renegades What kind of do wear skinny jeans and clear bars When they wear rent bars and panties with tampons I'm like, kill yourselves and like feminine girls Before we put the gun in your face and take you out of this world I will stay independent I won't give in under pressure I'm doing me and I won't bend I won't give in to your trend I will stay independent I'm doing me and I won't bend I won't give in to your 
On the lips, then we kiss like Eskimos. I got a handful of booty. We so close, she can feel it grow. And she hate when I come, I hate when she go. I told her opposite the track, baby. You should stay longer. She said you should take longer. That pussy too good. See, every king need a queen. It get lonely in this kingdom. But fuck your own draw. Here's your own set of keys. No code on my galaxy. My phone face up. You can see who calling when it ring. Go ahead, pick it up. You got all my niggas mad at me. All my bitches matter. When I'm with my baby, nothing even matters. Let's make this I did you so wrong. I love that. I'm so long. And I mean every word, I baby. Give my life to you. So Let's make this I did you so wrong. I'm so long. Your mama putting pressure on me from a mile away. I still thank you for your patience, baby. No, I made you wait. Embrace the man I am today. Don't compare me to who I was. That's the so biggest mistake, and I ain't never been in love before. Yo, 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 we're back on the hip hop show with the hip hop squad and in the building. Carly, hey, hey. So, yeah. Um, Seems like we got a caller already, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Caller, you on the air with the hip hop squad on the hip hop show with Cushy Carlito. What's your name? Where you calling from? What up, bro? This 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 Vince from calling from Inglewood. What up? What up? Hey, little TSB boy, huh? What up? What up? What up? What up? What that shit do, fully? Shit, man. You know me. What niggas on? Shit, drinking, smoking. Yep. You know what I mean? What you think about that? You know? What you think about that on my lap, Vince? Man, that shit, man. First of all, on my lap is one of man. That's one of my favorite songs that my nigga done came out with, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, like, when I heard that shit, I was like, yeah. Hey, keep it G, it. I was gonna it. come out with Like Mike is my second single, and this guy is the reason why On My Lap is my single, so I'm gonna yeah, keep it. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, cause On My Lap, that's, that's the one. <laughs> that's that's the one that. right there, I ain't even gonna lie, man. Right like, that's, that's, that's real deal, that's, that's the one. Yes, sir. We got another one? Uh, all right, well, we appreciate the call, Big Vince, and uh, we go head into this next caller. I'm gonna get at you fully. All right, yep. Yep. All right. Call her, you on the air on the hip hop show with the hip hop squad with Cushy Carlito. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's happening? It's Nika. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's up, Nika? How you feeling today? What's good? I'm checking y'all out. Pretty good show. I appreciate you. I thank you for how that. How you feeling? One. Ooh, I'm cool, you know. Mm. Trying to make a dollar out of fifteen cents. A dollar out of fifteen cents. <laughs> I mean, that seems can't complain about that. That seems right in tune with our <laughs> guest today, Mr. FBB. Fuck being broke. <laughs> yeah, chill. I heard that. That's right. Yeah. Is any any special men in your life? <laughs> Damn, really? it's almost it's almost Valentine's Day. Come on, what's Jay, up? Really? Talk to us. Oh, yeah, we want to hear it. We want to hear it. Everyone's on everyone's mind. Yeah, like what's who good? You got, who you got on your mind today? You got a Valentine yet, Nika? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I got a few, but I ain't really got an option. No, you know, I'm putting on blast right now. <laughs> hey, Pippin, well, I don't know. No, <laughs> you know, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Why maybe? Why maybe? Maybe. You know, some people got to come step up to the front. Ooh. So she's waiting on somebody. She got options, but no, she's waiting. She was waiting, waiting on, on me. Uh oh. Maybe. I'll wait on you. <laughs> maybe. It's true. There's like a line out the door. It's true. It's true. Now, the wrong got it like okay. that. Yeah. That's what it is. But I do got a Valentine, though. 
He does. Yeah. He does. He told me about it all day. He told me. About I told him. everybody about about this person. But what about you? Really? What about you? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us why you're calling. Give us something good. Yeah. Talk to us. Talk to us. Well, you know, I called to show love. Oh, we oh, appreciate we, that. Yeah, yeah, we definitely so appreciate that support. one. Oh man, we, we can always I use that. I love to see. I love yeah. to see the bros. You know, doing it. You're breaking it, up. Yeah, I didn't hear it right there. Yeah, I didn't hear that. You breaking up. What were you saying? Oh, I said I'm just calling to show love. And yeah. I'm glad to see my folks you know, doing things. Yeah. And it's much appreciated. We appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. We well, appreciate that. Well, Actually, nice. should I? No, nah, I ain't going to say it on there. <laughs> nah, yeah. We but yeah. Well, let, me ask, let me ask y'all, okay? Okay. Hit it. Since this is a Valentine's Day show. How many of y'all, how many Valentines do you have? Oh, wow. Squat? I'm is that up. appropriate? Of course it's of appropriate. Course. Everything's appropriate on the yeah. show. We're going to start by YJ. Go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, YJ. Oh, well, YJ, only one. Only one, man. I'm not cool. I'm not cool. I mean, I, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I, I've been seeing this girl for like four years. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm not interesting at all. Trust me. <laughs> so, four years? Yeah, four years. Especially in LA. That's kind of hard. That's a <laughs> Yeah, man. We've been through it. We've been through it. Trust me. It's been, it's been up and Crazy. down. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right, Dane, mm -hmm. next. Oh, I'm, single, I'm single and ready to mingle at all times. I like to keep it very <laughs> casual, oh, to be honest. I'm not ashamed of that. All right, Cushy, what you got? I'm sadly sitting on a donut you also. Said, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even going to I'm, I'm, I'm done at it. I'm, 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 me and Mary Jane kicking it on Valentine's uh -huh. <sighs> Then it leads up to me. Yeah, yeah. What was going on with you, Al? What's going on with me? I know a chick that's that's been on my mind right now. Um, she is gorgeous, uh -oh. and I heard she's this gorgeous ass actress. You know, I don't know. Word. But yeah, she is gorgeous. <laughs> I would actually ask her out to to be my Valentine. Word. Yeah. So. So you know, this, this just, you just blew your whole chill up right then. Why you say that? Because all the other ladies that was in checking for you was like crying right now. Hey, it is what it is, huh? It is what it is. Yeah, with good things you gotta sacrifice sometimes with good things. I'm only one, one, one woman in my life, so that's just me. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm, and she said that I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> she says I'm that like you're full of it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you you uh, hear that a lot? Is that called, what it is? Wait, wait. She <laughs> yeah. actually called me a sweetheart, and I really appreciate that. So that's kind of like... No, you are, you are. It's it's her reaction that's interesting. She's like, she's a, she, she just hears that all the time, apparently. Tell <laughs> yeah. us about that. You. that tell us about what guys in know? L.A. We want to know what yeah. you guys think of us. You know, are they, are they I, do, for I you? do hear that a lot. I do hear that a lot. I, I hear that. Um, you know, it's, but it's a good thing, you know. Fellas be trying to lock it down a little bit, so, <laughs> you know, that's not a bad thing. Right. Because I just felt like all dudes want to run streets and bend corners all the time. So it's good it to hear that. Well, it depends on what kind of dudes you're into. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a time? Well, no, or? I'm definitely not into the dudes that's uh, always in, you know, bending corners and. Knocking on doors. Um. <laughs> nah, we ain't the hey, it's type good of if dudes. they have a house. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we're not the type of dudes that do that. You know what Knocking I'm saying? Knocking on all right, doors. That's not my. That's not my flavor. Yeah. Okay, Nika. Well, it was a pleasure having you on today. Um, and see, fellas, y'all keep. We appreciate doing the things. love. Yeah. yeah, call us anytime. Yeah, right. you text me. <laughs> 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 Word. Okay, no comment. <laughs> All right, have a good night, Nico. I'll talk to you soon. All right, y'all, later. Peace. Right. So, Kush. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Damn. Oh, no, you know, Damn. The, the truth is, is Damn. that... He, I think he had a secret admirer calling him, and it's messing with his head right now. I think that's what it is. It really is, cause you know he really. I'm gonna say that. I mean, I think I think he kind of he kind of likes that girl. Uh -huh. I, I think so. I think I think he has Maybe. a special place for her. Maybe. Uh -oh. So I think I think it's just you know. Who knows? It could be anybody yeah. else. Who knows? I think he's compromised. <laughs> compromised. <laughs> Check it the
out of here. You fine. You fine. Get out of here. I mean, but yeah, we got nah. the we, we got the holiday coming in Valentine's Day. Shout out to everybody oh, out yeah. there. At the end of the day, it's all about love. At the and, and, and uh, we appreciate the love that people have been showing us for the show, and um, we're looking forward to just spreading it as well. And you know, that's what we're here for too. Right. Share that love. How the fans been treating you, Cushy? Ever yeah. since you got into the game, man, they've been showing you some love. Man, fans been loving me, man. I be I be getting messages from dudes in Australia, and, 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 and man, just just it's, it's it's amazing to me, bro. That's what means the most to me too, man. Hitting me up, just like yeah, I love your song, but that's better than the original version, or you know all, all that, man. That's what means the most to me. Interesting, interesting. Have you had an opportunity to work with anybody interesting, or do you got anybody on your hit list? Yeah. Uh, I got my boy. Let me shout out my boy, L.A. Native, on the beat. Uh, I got my boy coming up. That's about the only one I got in mind that I'm working with right now. But uh, always looking to link with some real ones. You know what I mean? So if you're on this FBB, shit, link up. So what can, what kind of uh, vibe can we expect Volume 2 to bring out of us? What kind of emotions? <sighs> I mean, it's going to motivate you to get some money, I'm going to say that. Like, you ain't going to listen to it and not want to get up and do something with yourself. Like, you know what I mean? And like I said, I'm going to shout out everybody. It's going to be relatable. You know what I mean? It's going to turn you up. It's some chill shit. It's a little something for the ladies. Like, it's a little something for everybody. Like I said, it's 20 tracks on there, so it's going to be something on there for you. Good stuff. Good stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do we have now? I think we got the honey of the week, so uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and drop that uh, um, that video. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have Silence give us a call after we play that. So yeah, we introducing a new segment for y'all, honey of the week. So we gonna have oh, all y'all ladies yeah. out there, you know, uh, definitely start Holla hitting us up man. with your videos, or, or your tracks, you know, or, or your photos, so we can feature you. We out here to support y'all, you know, hip hop yeah. artists or uh, vixens and models and uh, female rappers as well, singers. Writers, whoever you might be, we here to show y'all some love and show y'all get y'all help y'all get yourselves out there. So always love out. the ladies, always, always. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So stay tuned. It's called Sex Appeal. Stay tuned. New York City, what's happening? I got my home girl. Silas about to come to the stage, to the stage, to the stage, to the stage, to the stage. <laughs> That you would admit it And tell me you want me As much as I want you Yeah, all my fantasies You be in them If only you knew The things that I wanna do But every time her eyes meet You find a reason to turn around And look
Yeah. To your unravel. Yeah. Swimming in the deep end without a vest, no rebel. No small talk, baby girl, we can save it for after. To reach our clock, Max, they gon' need a ladder. And another one, and another one, and another one. We keep it going till another sun. Oh, baby, 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 Hip-hop show with the hip-hop squad and Cushy Carlito. We got some callers, but we're going to take this one call real quick. Silence. Caller, you on the air on the hip-hop show with the hip-hop squad and Cushy Carlito. What's your name? Where you calling from? What's up? This is your girl, Silence, on the line. How you doing? Silence What's up, Silence? What's good? What's good? You just dropped that well, sexy... All is well. How are you? We're Enjoying doing good. Ourselves. I'm doing good. Especially after that sex appeal you just dropped on us. Yeah. <laughs> That was dope. Gratitude, gratitude. I thank you so much. Thank you for posting that joint. I really appreciate it. No bullshit. Uh, all day, you know what I'm saying? We got, like I said before, we're here to, to support all artists, you know, male, female, singers, rappers, DJs, producers, and you definitely one of those individuals. So we definitely want to shout you out and show you some love on our Honey of the Week segment. Aw, thank you. So what was the inspiration behind that? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Um, well, actually, I got um, a friend of mine. He's a pianist from D.C. His name is Sean Miles, and he produced the record. And I don't know, like, when I heard it, I just, like, kind of saw, like, this whole scenario of, like, like, I just kind of felt like this scenario, like, this chick going after this guy, but she couldn't really get him because he wasn't paying her no mind. And so, like, I ended up, like, writing this song from that, like, that point of view. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a hard joint. Honestly, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Thank you so much. I don't know if you could see us, but we were all rocking out to that. Everyone was jamming. Yeah, no doubt. That's dope. That's dope. So is that off a, a recent project of yours, or is that just a single? Or, or tell us a little bit more um, about that. That is from, I released a project um, late 2013 called Grand Grace and Gratitude. I released it October 29, 2013. It's called Grand Grace and Gratitude. And that was the track number three. It was a five-song EP. Track number three off of that EP is what that song is. Um, and so I put it out and I had it out for a while and I had been doing um, I did a couple shows with Life Jennings I opened up for Life Jennings on a couple of his tour dates last year and um, I used some of the footage from that, from those shows to kind of just fight together a video because I didn't have any videos so I was like well let me just take this I know it's old and I'm about to drop new music um, I'm dropping a new EP the end of March and then I'm dropping an album in September so I'm working on a bunch of new stuff, but I wanted to just kind of get something out there to kind of, you know, just keep my name in everybody's ear and, you know. There it is. There it is. Yeah. So let the yeah. let our audience know where they can find you at. Um, you can find me on the web, www.solence.com, S-A-H-L-E-N-C-E.com. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of it is at Solence. Facebook's forward slash Solence. Everything is Solence. YouTube, silence, SoundCloud, silence, everything is silence. There it is, baby. Well, we appreciate the call, and we yeah. appreciate you being our first annual, our first ever Honey of the Week, and we definitely look forward to uh, having you in here one day. Definitely, definitely, definitely got to make that happen. Next time I am in L.A., I am in the studio with you guys. There it is. There it yeah. is. Yeah. All right, we appreciate the time, appreciate so I'll do it. take care. Thank you so much. Got another caller, LP? Yes, sir. I guess. I guess not. I guess not. So, with that being said, yeah. <laughs> looks like we have our uh, next segment turn up or turn it down. Turn it up for us. So we go. Uh, fuck we, we go. We, we go give y'all. Whoa, 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 whoa! We got a caller. We oh, got we got that caller. Right? Let's, let's, let's punch him in. Let's punch him in. 
Carla, you on the air on the hip hop show with the hip hop squad and Cushy Carlino. What's your name? Where you call it from? What's going on, man? My name is Dre. I'm calling from LA, Southeast LA. What up? What up? How you feeling, brother? I'm good, man. Good, man, bro. I just wanted to let you know, man. You really out here doing your thing, man. You out here really repping on some real rap shit aside from the ratchet shit, like a real LA rapper to check out for, man. I fuck with you, bro. Good looking on that, bro, bro. Yeah, man. That's my boy Jersey Dre right there, man. Another one of them TSB boys checking in. There you is. No, yes. man. So, what's your favorite record so far? Man, I don't know, man. He got some records, but right now I've been going up to that. Don't know, don't know, booth get smoked in the coop. Hey, that's really, been, like, that's of... really been one of my <laughs> joints right now, man. I've been going hard for that one, so. Chunk of deuce. If, if, if I can say right now, that's probably my joint. 100, 100, my nigga. Good looking, my nigga, for calling in, though. Yep. All day, fam. 100. Love. Yep. All right. Looks like you're going to go. Yeah, wow. so let's go ahead and go at that turn it up, turn it down, DJ YJ. What's up? You hear me? Yeah. First record. Let's go ahead and. Andy Bishop, 50 Sentences. 50 Sentences. Let's check this one out real quick. Yeah. Um, tell, tell me a little bit about uh, Bishop real quick because I don't really know that much about him. I mean, Andy Bishop is an artist that uh, that I've discovered uh, via Plains and Palm Trees. He's out of Atlanta, I do believe. And he has that very uh, luxury sound to uh, to his rap. So, I mean, I definitely believe it's something that uh, we will enjoy, our audience will enjoy, but we shall see. All right, man. I'm excited to hear this one. Yeah, I'm excited ready? to hear this too, Let's man. Let's do it. Drop Let's it. go ahead. I came up around many men, had plenty friends, couldn't really live like them, feel like them, niggas wasn't different, they was blending in, niggas didn't, said I wouldn't make it 50 different ways, then I blew in 50 days, now niggas getting 50 paid, me in London made roulette and split it 50, 50 ain't have 50 pennies with me, had to text them come and get me, back when car trouble was our trouble, only had one, had to cut a couple bitches off, they pulled a fast one, they love you, then get rid of you, like 50 did the Vivica, got too much makeup, she look cartoonish, like Sienica, plenty of time to climb, tell these niggas, give me mine, penny money, penny shine, or chop a chopper, teach you 50 times, really, I'm probably trying to focus on the wrong thing, Go watch, go rank, rockin' vintage old things, check the dice and kiss them bitches, bishop, need some new shoes, new coot, moon roof, shine better than you do, met TP and told him spit a verse, that nigga gave me 50, spit for 50 minutes, where he rhyme like 50 sentences, 50 differences, Take us out, but you can't do this shit that we can do Even you, me, you and it's a G's to be real as me Look you in your face and ask you what you do if you was me Nigga, pull your best Glock, aim and take your best shot Recommend you test not, bullets make your chest hot In your uh. situation, there's no plan B You know, it's music or we sell crap Cause that's what we did before we did music You know what I mean? And, and, and everybody... All right, all right, so let me go ahead and Go turn it into YJ. Turn it up or turn it off? Get this mic working real quick, man. I liked it a lot, man. I like that 50 line also. You know, I really enjoy people who have, have good lyrics. You know, Cushy right here has real good lyrics too. I mean, so turn it up for me. All right, so Dane? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have to turn that one up myself. Um, like I said, I discovered that uh, that dude a couple couple of weeks ago and i've been i find myself listening to him uh shout out to uh, roulette records shout out london blue andy bishop so i'm right. definitely turning that one up all right cushy what you think about this song turn it up or turn it off i'm agree with the dj man i i, I heard the lyrics in his in this music man so i'm gonna turn it up uh, i fuck with anything with some substance yeah i guess i'll turn it up too <laughs> 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 i had to think about it for a second like yeah, that, the song is dope, man. It Fifty does. sentences. That's yeah. I was that, feeling that. Was and, and I like yeah. On point. And the beat was dope too. Oh I mean, yeah. It was just. It was kind of like a Kendrick Lamar's beat. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah it was no real doubt, cool. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Blaze went up to that one right there. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think we go Blaze one up to my, my uh, have to Blaze another one up to the second one. We about to drop real quick oh, too. Oh yeah. So this one is a video. Um, 
they tell us about this Yeah, this video. is a this is a, a artist named Andre Dumar, another artist uh, we discovered via Plains and Palm Trees. He's actually out of here, uh, the West Coast, I believe, um, Inglewood or Compton, one of the two. But nevertheless, Greater LAX, Greater LAXCA area. So uh, we got uh, Andre Dumar, uh, get away. All right, stay tuned. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We was rolling blunts. Just a little get away, away. I wanna get away, I wanna. Just a little get away, away. I wanna get away, I wanna. You can keep it real. Ain't no need to front. Ain't no need to front. Switch us back to back. We was rolling blunts. We was rolling blunts. Just a little get away, away. I wanna get away, I wanna. Just a little get away, away. I wanna get away, I wanna. Back then I had a black fist in my afro. Came close to not even flipping my tassel. Daydreaming of the fast road. Just a young kid, I had cash though. Used to flip pack show, I just did shit I didn't ask for cause. Niggas die up in the building. That's why I usually chill cause. Any day you can get killed like. You do drive bys in the daylight if. Every y'all put a piece up without number of police. Control the streets. If we could just spread the peace, I don't make the rules, I just think what the world could be. One man can't change it all, but he can change himself. You come up and you spread the wealth, kick back and just blaze an L. Just kicking amazing tails, young bro, I gotta wish you well. God jam couldn't make the bell. Had them niggas find a scale, I got clientele. Had stocks, had to buy and sell. Nigga, just keep it real, you might as well. I don't wanna preach, I'm barely out of church. I don't wanna see my niggas waste the work. I just wanna see my niggas make it work. I just wanna see the city free to grow. Niggas get locked and never make it home. I don't wanna be that nigga blowing up Nigga get shot down over some super stuff Hells get lit, I'm blowing super tough You can keep it real, ain't no need to front Ain't no need to front Switch us back to back, we was rolling blunts We was rolling blunts Just a little get away, away, I wanna get away, I wanna Just a little get away, away, I wanna get away, I wanna You can keep it real, ain't no need to front Ain't no need to front Switch us back to back, we was rolling blunts We was rolling blunts just a little get away, away, I wanna get away, I wanna Just a little get away, away, I wanna get away, I wanna I ain't fast forward to the young nigga trying to get known All right, all right, we're back on the hip-hop show with the hip-hop squad and Cushy Carlito as a special guest So, Jade, turn it up or turn it you know what, I really like the vibe of it, man. I, honestly, I mean, just for like hanging out, like if I'm driving down PCH or whatever, I would put that on and just, you know, just vibe to it. I, I like it, I'd turn it up. All right, all right, that's dope. Dane? Oh, I'm definitely turning that up, like YJ said. You know, we could either let the top down, just cruise down, Crenshaw, <laughs> or, or we can just be chilling in the crib, you know, hanging out <laughs> with the fellas. You know, that's definitely one of those chill, mellow tracks. So, yeah, we go yeah. turn that up. All right, Cushy? Rolling with the DJ again, man. Definitely heard that luxury sound, man. That's some good Roger music right there. I'm turning it up. Yeah, I'm definitely turning that one up, too. I was smoking blunts. I forgot the whole yeah, was, <laughs> That was so funny as hell. I want to get man. away. I want to. This <laughs> was hot. Yeah. Shouts right. out, Andre Demar, Andy Bishop. You know, turn man. it up, turn it down. Second, we appreciate that that man. lyrical art y'all blessed with our um, for our eardrums. So, uh, right. Let's, let's hear more, man. Looking mm -hmm. forward to it. Yes, yeah. Me too. All right, so before we do anything else, we got a caller on the air. It's been too long. Caller, you on the air on the Hip Hop Show with the Hip Hop Squad and Cushy Carlito. What's your name? Where you calling from? Oh, uh, man, it's Monty Moo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, Monty Moo. What's right, good, baby? Right. That's my yeah, ace right nice. there. What it do, yeah? I, I, I just to let y'all know, I was fucking with that song, too. That shit was kind of smooth right there. Ah, oh, there yeah. we are. We appreciate that, man. man. Oh, yeah, already, already. So which one are you rocking with on the Cushy Carlito FBB Volume 2? What's your favorite record so far? Honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm fucking with that West Side Story. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I gotta go with that uh, I Be Rolling. I Be Rolling. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I Be Rolling didn't even make the keys nut, though. 
They, they didn't even make that. That didn't even make the cut, you, bro. You know what? I, I, I still, I, I still, I still mess with the money motivation. I still go with that. Off I can still throw that in and go, you know what I mean? Go up to Cinella, so I can still bump that. Mm-hmm. You see, everybody got it. Everybody favorite different, man. The boy got a hit tape coming y'all way, man. February twentieth. Fuck with me. Oh, you already, man. I, I know the work you've been putting in, so I wanted to call and make sure that people know because she been grinding. Yes, sir. She right. been grinding. I mean, what's been your biggest observation of Money Move from Volume One to Volume Two? Uh, the growth, man. The, the flow is getting is getting more polished. You know, you tell them more from the first one. For the second one, I can hear him actually getting into the studio and owning the class. You know, a lot of times, if we go to the studio, the next volume and come with some bullshit. But my nigga went in there, okay, heard what the people had to say. And on the second volume, I like what he coming with. I like the, I like the flow. I like the master on the track. And so you got to sound confident. You got to own it. Whatever you're going to do, own it. You feel me? There it is, baby. Honey, that's my nigga right there. That's my right hand right there. Though. That's my you know, ace, though. You mean, so, uh, I like the music you put in, though, man. It's just only a matter of time for everybody else catch on. 100, bro. There it is. We appreciate the call, Monty. Yeah, man. Okay. I, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all keep playing that good music and shit. You know what I mean? Rock with my boy Tishy. Man, man appreciate it, man. 100. I'm hitting you, bro, bro. Hey, all right. Y'all have a good night, man. Oh, you too, man. Uh-huh. All right. It's about time to get up out of here. Even though. Could have been longer. But. Yeah, so let's start with Cushy. Where they can find you at, bro? All right, man. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything at Cushy Carlito. Uh, www.cushycarlito.com. Uh, follow me up. Follow up, man. I got a little giveaway going on right now. Giving away T-shirts, hard copies uh, of the big tape coming out. Speaking of giveaways, I come bearing gifts for the for the squad. Oh snap! Oh man! Wow. Oh man! Wow! Show it to us, show it to us, man! Oh wow! We got show the follow up. You might get you one of these for free. Oh Woo. man! I want. I gotta show love to the this. DJ first. Oh thanks, DJ man. got the Ron P. Oh man! LP in the building. I miss her. I love it, man. This is Cushy Carlito. I'm gonna wear this next time I spin. Hey, Dan Diesel got one. Yes sir, man. We all got one. Let's show our shirts, man. Got them official Cushy Carlito joints. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You on the lookout. Yeah. Look at the, the, dope, the, the hot fresh logo right there. Get yes. you one of them twenty bucks though. Holla at me. Dope, nah. man. I appreciate Better it. Better go man. participate in the giveaway. Giveaway or, you might get one for free. Follow up, man. Yeah. At Cushy Carlito on everything. Damn, yeah. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, man. We appreciate it. Let's go to Dane Diesel. Oh, man. You know, I just want to give a big shout out once again to uh, RMC on there for having us. Uh, shouts out to Plains and Palm Trees. Shouts out to all of our, our guests. Cushy Carlito. Shouts out to everybody we play. You know, we had Silence call in. Shouts out Andy Bishop, Andre. Shouts out Sean August. Shouts out Richard, 90302 Photo. If you don't know, now you know. You know, we're looking forward to really bringing y'all some good work here. So, Keep tuned, stay tuned in, I should say, and be on the lookout for uh, this greatness we about to bring to y'all table or to an eardrum near you. Yeah. YJ, tell them where you're going to be at. Man, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be here every Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but check this. Um, you can find me on SoundCloud. Just look up White Jade or uh, just go to Facebook, White Jade. There's a there's an artist page right there. Give me a like. I'm about to put some, some really cool original remixes up on there for everybody. What I'm doing is I'm taking some uh, kind of like cool club music and I'm taking my favorite 90s hip-hop artists and I'm remixing Woo! it. So, nice. yeah, you guys will like it. And, yeah, just tune into the show. Hey. Well, I appreciate you guys watching and calling out. I appreciate the callers calling in, especially Carmen uh. and Anika calling in as well. Anyways, um... Y'all can find me in here, RMC, every day, man. I'm, I'm here, every, like, almost every day just to do his shows and stuff like that. But I'm mostly an artist and producing all that. But you can find me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, LaRon Pierce. If y'all don't know how to spell, let me spell y'all for it. Mm-hmm. It's L-A-R-O-N space P-I-E-R-C-E. LeBron Pierce. Just Google me. All of my information is in there. Just hit me up. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Like my, my like my music page. Go ahead and check out the hip hop show. You know, and also we're gonna have a website pretty soon in a couple of days. So just keep on the look for that. So I'm gonna end the song with this. Shout out to one of my boys, my homie Scotty Trippin'. 
for releasing that track. We played it last week, but we're going to end it with this song called Weatherman by Go Ahead YJ. Spin it up for me, man. Have a good night. Peace. Report the weather, living in a storm Working all night, I go until the break of dawn Put it all together, foolish I was gone Don't feel sorry for me, cause I knew when I was born 27 years, living time to make a change In the background, waiting, now it's time to take stage Short rope, sick inside the people playing games See the lightning and the thunder through the hell and through the rain Atmospheric pressure no precipitation I am no lesser through the trial and tribulation Lying on a stretcher Looking to the sky They telling him he's wrong but he believed that he can fly This is not a forecast More like a prediction Trying to be a better man Can I get a witness? Hurricane coming, I ain't running for the fences It took a long time, now I'm coming to my senses Living in a storm, working all night, I go into the break of dawn, live it to the letter, feeling like a pawn, just trying to turn into a king and get across the board, target on my back, you know I'm not afraid, I made a lot of mistakes, but no I'm not ashamed, staying in the crosshairs, working for atonement, thinking about the future, no more living for the moment. I am not preaching, this is not a lecture I am no better than and you are no lesser Mic in my hand, I stand for the people Hear the lightning go flash so fast, so lethal They talking about it, I'm being about it, I stay in a mainframe, frame, hopping about it, and being them about of it. I, I'm still in my promise, honey, this ain't no lie. So rest in peace to big in pockets, lemon pun and proof and L and why do I derive these licking lines? They idolize and spit it five thousand times a day, so ain't no need to show how thick it's fine. I pitch it like a pickup line overhead, so divine, like an explosion. I'm blowing we the bomb, ticking time. Them people hating equal free promo, don't be concerned. I be discerning through the fog and flog them just to reconfirm. Been having hard, I didn't just start a competing turn Not just a rapper, cause I'm an artist, court can be a germ